He left without okay. countering. Let me, let me and understand. then when Arafat was leaving and he shook Bill Clinton's hand, this is the story that Bill Clinton mm -hmm. tells in his book, My Life, he shook his hand and he said, Mr. Clinton, you're a great man. And then Clinton looked him in the eye and said, I'm not a great man, I'm a failure. Yeah. And you have made me one, Mr. Correct. Sam. So you go, go, and both I was of you with, go to one source. No, no, wait, wait. But then let's get... Orientalist. It, it, it gets better. Oh, it gets better. No, no, let me, I'm it giving you better. multiple sources. It was widely reported. Let's get... Who, who, let's who, who, it who gets else? better. In, 2000, in 2008... Who's In 2008... You're wrong, Mohammed. How am I wrong? Give me a source. It was Arafat. The Clinton the source is the president of no, the United guess, States. He's biased like You don't care. Arafat walked away from the best deal... No, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. In the whole Let me explain something. Do you, believe, no, no, please. do you believe Forbes magazine? Let me respond. Do you believe Forbes magazine? Do you believe Forbes magazine? No, there's second source. Don't talk to each other. That Arafat died. Do you want me to? Can we make it civil? That? Make it civil. Maybe, maybe, maybe Arafat respond. didn't line it into the. Are you scared? Are you scared? Are you scared of my response? Uh, are you scared? I don't think so. Great. Let you me use speak. the word scared a lot. It's okay. Don't run away. Don't respond. Okay. Run away. Don't run away. I'm right here, Mohammed. Okay, great. Right here. I'll get closer to you. Listen. Listen. Stop shouting, Rabbi Smiley. Ninety-three. As as we said, there was all these accords from ninety-three to two thousand. Now, in 19, what, was, what were the uh, contentions? Let me tell you what the contentions were on the Oslo Accords. Number one, Jerusalem. Number two, the settlements. Number three, the occupied territories. Number four, the borders. That's what they were mentioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You forgot, now, the, the, you forgot the refugees, which is the most contentious. Yeah, sorry, refugees, correct. You correct, forgot correct, that correct. completely. Okay, the, 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 the refugees, correct. Which is the right to return law, and we know this apartheid anyway. But anyways, these No, it's not apartheid. Okay, every we'll, we'll every country that, in Europe allows people with ancestry... You, you have a point, Mohamed. Okay, I do have a point, which is as follows. What is it? They divided the areas into area A, B, and C. Okay. That was the, also two and ninety-five. Okay, yeah, sure. So what I'm saying is, in that time, the question is, who was treacherous to the agreement? Because we know that, as you know, you condemned the settlements. That was part of the Oslo Accords. No, no. The of people who were treacherous the was Arafat, who was giving the Why terrorists money it? to kill Jews, a thousand Jews Why should died, they accept it? which is the equivalent here in Britain of thirty thousand people being killed in terror attacks. All right. Can I, can I ask? Can I ask Mamba one question, please? You said Oslo one, Oslo two. May I ask you one question? I don't know if I how want much, you to tell us okay, any well, question. Well, you, know, you don't have to answer. But so this is the point. Does, this is a how myth. How much, how, much, this is a myth. How, how much of the Palestinian population in the yeah, West Bank, yeah, as yeah, you call it, yeah, is yeah. controlled right now by the Palestinian Authority? What percentage of the Palestinians are, 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 under, are under no, no, Mahmoud no, no, Abbas? No, 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 you won't answer no, it. You don't know, do you? None of it. Because all of it no, is no, the IDF. No, no, he doesn't even know. No, 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 no. Answer how many are controlled. None of it, none of it. Not according to Mahmoud Abbas. No, no, no. You know what the answer is? You know what the answer is? 97%. Here's what we're going to do. 97%. Here's what we're going to do. Do you know what it's like? I'm going to end the show by you both having a minute uninterrupted. Sure. To summarize, right? Let go first, it's no problem. How you think we move on from here? Because clearly anyone watching this is going to see two completely intractable sides, right? This is what I see on Twitter all day long. Right. I see people on the uh, Israeli side and on the pro-Palestinian side, and they scream at each other all day long, right? They say some things that are right, some things that are wrong. You're part of that as well. Whatever. There's this kind You'll of... get you involved in it. Well, you both said to me before we sat down... <laughs> I don't he's, want to he's speak trying to absolve himself. Speak another term, but you both it. said to me independently... Well, so now it's the two of us ganging up on him, well, finally, okay. you both said to me before we started, you said that the American uh, Jewish community were very pleased with what I've done oh, on the yes, show. they are. And you said that the Muslim world Please well done the show. And I took that as a perfect extrapolation of what we've been trying to achieve, which is giving both sides a voice and a platform. And I can continue So I'll let me do my minute. What, is, my what minute. has not Lemsa, worked, Lemsa. what has not worked yeah. is bringing you together like this because actually it's been a, an ear-thumping, <laughs> screaming match. So you're now going to get a minute each to, okay. to summarise, right? You can go first. And in the summary, I want to see if we can at least pretend to be constructive here, right? Okay. Okay. Because the world needs this somehow to end. Okay. So, Rabbi Shmini, you go first. First of all, Mohammed, thank you very much for wearing the Israeli colors. Thank you for your support of the Jewish state. We greatly appreciate it. Thank I should you. have done the same. Secondly, uh, I, I'm sorry you wouldn't shake my hand. I will shake your hand anytime because I do believe what Pierce said, we have to have peace and harmony going forward. It's a shame that you said no. Third, peace will come. My Arab brothers and sisters who are the green on this map except that tiny little thing that I'm covering with my finger, that tiny little thing called Israel. And when they understand that Israel is not the Jewish homeland, Israel is actually the great Arab hope. If our Arab brothers and sisters get the economic prosperity of Israel, the rights for women, the rights for, for freedom, of, freedom of assembly, to criticize their governments without fear, the way the people in Hamas, uh, in Gaza, would be murdered by Hamas, let alone in uh, Palestinian Authority, they'd be thrown in jails. Israel's the great hope. Let me just say this. Islam is a great world religion. It created the world's first universities. It introduced agricultural reforms in Europe under Sultan Akbar in India 400 years before Europe. You had 
Um, you had Al-Razi, who introduced medical reform 600 years before the... the All right. And if we return to that kind of advance, not the Islam that is being advocated right. by Mohammed Hijab, which is antiquated All right. and we'll dark ages, then we will have peace. Okay. So God bless my Muslim brothers and sisters, Ma and I will shake your hand any time. Mohammed, a minute for you. As I said before, and I'll say it again, justice is a prerequisite for peace. If this was the case that it was South Africa and both nations had a long and known history with each other, Israel and South Africa, and there's a book called The Secret Alliance that you can read for your further information. If this was South Africa and the blacks were kicked out of their country, they were kicked out of their country by the whites, like the Nakba, 700,000 uh, Palestinians were kicked out, and then they had the audacity to talk about peace, nobody would be accepting it. The apartheid laws of South Africa are the same, effectively, as the apartheid laws of Israel. You're not allowed to come back to the country unless you are of a specific ethnicity, which meets the requirement for apartheid. The 100 to 1 ratio of being killed in Gaza, the, this seems to be acceptable to Shmoli, or unholy Shmoli, it seems to be acceptable to him. It's a good it's not acceptable it's a very to, good so, rhyme. Uh, it's a little bit of It's not of acceptable comedy. to me, it's not acceptable to the people. When we see these images, it's absolutely not acceptable. So peace is a uh, justice requirement for peace. By, okay. the way, by the way, it's no, smoothly, no, no, not no, smoothly. No, 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 no,
Can somebody do me a favor? Google asininities and find out if it's a I word. know what it means. If no. it's not, make sure it's added to Webster on top G's orders. Okay. Just, are they a terror group? You're peddling asininities because I'll tell you why, Pierce. Let me answer the no, question. No, I'm not. Of course you it's are. It's a simple question. That's like me asking. I'll tell you why I asked. Because the let, UK, where you were born, prescribes Hamas as a terror they organization. They also prescribe me as dangerous to children in schools. Let me explain something to you, Pierce. You're not if prescribed sit, as that. If I were to sit here and say, is stealing wrong? And you'd say yes, and I go, ah, but what if the person stealing is trying to feed their family and if they don't, their family are going to die? Is it still wrong? You're trying to take a so very equating... nuanced and complicated argument no. and reduce it down to no, one not. sentence, no, which is failure. You're trying to equate stealing with a mob of terrorists breaking over a border, going to peaceful... Is that what Israel did? Wait a minute. A mob of terrorists Wait a breaking over a border Let me finish. And, and killing people. Is that going, what Israel did? Going through a border on October the 7th... Oh, October the 7th. Uh, massacring... Young people at a festival, massacring families in their homes in a kibbutz, setting fire to them, cutting their heads off, killing babies. Oh, killing it was 40 the most... babies, that was true. Well, fine. Were the babies vaccinated? Why are you being flippant? I'm not being flippant. The point I am making... I don't making... find that funny. No, but the point I am making is that the media lies, firstly. No, secondly, I can secondly... ask you. We can ask... I can ask you about different things at the same time, right? Sure. So I'm asking you, first of all, specifically, what is your reaction to what happened on October the 7th? Sure. I'll answer the question professionally. I do not condone the loss of human life on either side. Mm. I think anybody doing anything which directly damages civilians is disgusting and abhorrent. However, I would be an amateur if I could not sit and pretend I do not understand the motivations behind either side. This is not even me taking a side. I understand why Israel is doing what it's doing. I understand why Palestine is doing what it's doing. However, I still call the Israeli actions absolutely abhorrent and genocidal. Okay, we're going to come to Israel's actions, I promise you. We will ask that question specifically. But in terms of what Hamas did on October the 7th, do you accept that was an act of terrorism? It's an interesting question because... Once it's not again, really. It is. No, it's a very it straightforward question. Because you're the person who would have called Nelson Mandela a terrorist while he was still in jail. And one person's terrorist is another person's freedom fighter. I wouldn't for have me to answer that. the question, Yes, you would have. For, the, for me to answer the question, I have to be very professional, Pierce. For me to sit on the outside in Romania with no personal involvement in Israel-Palestine, it's easy for me to say, yes, it was an act of terror. However, if I was in Gaza, if I was in an open-air prison, if my family had been annihilated by bombs from mm. the sky, mm. if everybody I knew had suffered the loss of a loved one. If I had no chance of any kind of freedom or democracy or standard of life, would I believe it was an act of terror or would I believe it's an act of resistance against oppression? You have to be very careful how you answer these so questions. So what do you think? I think I understand what happens when you take people and put them in such an inhumane condition. So For anybody is... to sit and say that you're going to take people and put them in absolutely inhumane conditions mm. and give them no standard of life and they're not allowed to ever fight back or they are But terrorists. I can agree with you. Anyone who does well, that is an amateur. I can agree with you that the plight of the Palestinians for many decades has been absolutely shameful. So what did we think no, was going to happen, wait, Pierce? No, nothing justifies what happened on October 7th. So what are they nothing. supposed to do? Nothing. So what are they supposed to that do? That was an act of medieval barbaric terrorism. Nothing justifies did it. Did they suffer and your acts attempt of to, medieval... Your, did they suffer your attempt acts of medieval to try and Did they suffer acts of medieval barbaric terrorism before that date? Yes. And it's unfortunately an eye for an eye in this world. Tell me, I'm not condoning. Give me, I'm being a professional and answering give to me you one why example, it happened. Give me one example of where Israel, without any provocation, <laughs> went into... What, no, wait, a specific question. Went into Gaza and massacred 1,500 innocent people, cutting their heads off, taping and boasting about what they'd done back to their families in Israel, kidnapping Holocaust survivors, bringing them... They wouldn't, of course, have done that in their case, kidnapping old grandmothers and bringing them back.